Hey, welcome back to the channel. Got a little something on the bench for you. So in this video, I'm just kind of going over all the projects and all the things that I've been working on. And um, I haven't really put out much content since the IO and uh, I've been just kind of busy messing around with a whole bunch of stuff. And honestly, I've been having a lot of problems. Um, so I'm going to kind of go through some things that I'm working on, uh, videos that are coming to the channel and you know kind of things that you can expect to see uh, in the future so of course i always throw in those tidbits in between uh, but let me go ahead and, and show you all these different things um, that i'm working on so that, that's basically what this video is about coming to props off <music> So the first thing, obviously, you could see that I, I got a new radio and I have uh, won this radio. Thank you, Radio Master Multi GP, uh, for the opportunity to volunteer at the I.O. in Muncie, Indiana and enter into the drawing uh, giveaway to win this radio. Um, so this thing is fantastic looking. The gimbals are just amazing. Uh, the screen is I know in this video, you're looking at the screen, you're like, that doesn't look great. But trust me, the the clarity and the, and the pixels of this screen is pretty, pretty nice. Um, and, you know, of course, it's touch screen, so you can go through your models. You can, I mean, it's really intuitive and fast. Um, I actually like the Edge TX uh, because of past equipment that I used to work on. The interface is very similar to the equipment that I used to service as a field technician. Um, so for me, it, it works out pretty good. Um, but I have had a lot of issues with this radio. I had emergency mode come up and freeze up. I couldn't use the radio. Of course, I got a video uh, how to fix that. I'll put it right here. And it didn't matter if you have the old ribbon or the new ribbon. I've fixed six of them personally, you know. Um, so taking care of that, otherwise you wouldn't be looking at it right now in the state that it's in uh, without opening it up and fixing that. Um, but in while I was in there, I found uh, the bus cable going to the internal module, the ELRS internal module, and it was all smushed. I, I'll have some paper. Like I said, I'll go through a video of all, all the issues I've had with this thing and, um, you know, some fixes. Hopefully, you know, working with Radio Master, we'll get this panned out. Uh, but for now, I'm not using this radio. So next up is my 7-inch Ripper. <laughs> this this thing, this thing is going to be eventually, someday, amazing. But for now, it's a piece of garbage. Um, I've had all kinds of issues. I'm going to go through this. I'm going to do a video, things that you can see and look at. This isn't my first 7-inch quad, uh, but this is something that's kind of specced out to be a really aggressive, grunty, uh, seven inch quad, uh, running 5S. I've got the, uh, hobby wing stack, the 60 amp, uh, F7 convertible stack is in here. Uh, 2807 Emax motors on a, uh, 7040 prop. Uh, so this is, this is going to be on paper, uh, an amazing quad to fly. Uh, but for now I've had, <laughs> I've had an enormous amount of issues with this, um, and I think I've got the fix. Uh, so there'll be a video coming out on this dude and uh, the fixes that I went through. And then I'll probably do another video, like an overview and a flight video. Uh, so that's coming. Um, next up, uh, ELRS. Uh, thank you to my friend. I'm going to put a link in the description for FPV Gaps. Check out his channel. He's got a lot of whoop racing uh, on his channel, and he has... Uh, kind of twisted my arm to completely get away from FR Sky. As you know, I'm, I'm running the multi protocol module and I'm still running FR Sky receivers on everything I own. Uh, but it's time. I think ELRS has kind of matured to the point where I, I want to get involved and he's really twisted my arm or maybe smacked me in the face. So this is the uh, Pro uh, JR style. Uh, if I get this thing out. So you got the antenna, you got the, the JR Bay module, uh, happy model ELRS. I am going to change 
if I can get that radio uh, fixed, I'm going to change it to a 4-in-1 internal module uh, to replace the one that's having issues. And I'm going to put this in the back of it. So there's going to be some video coming out of, on this. Um, I've also purchased some receivers. Uh, so I'm going to outfit a couple quads with the receiver. And I was kind of debating, I don't know, in comments if you would, maybe just say, you know, kind of what you're thinking. Uh, but that, let me grab it. So basically, this radio has the, has an internal ELRS module. I'm having issues. Uh, there's a cable that was smashed in inside of it when I went in to look for the ribbon cable. So like I said, I'm talking to Radio Master about that. Uh, but I'm thinking, you know what? This radio completely updated, uh, put the 4-in-1 module in it uh, so that I can run all my FR Sky stuff. I have way too many FR Sky quads to just all of a sudden poof ELRS. So I'm thinking internal, 4-in-1, external, ELRS, uh, this, this is the one 500 packet rate, one, at one watt, you know, all that jazz. Uh, some receivers into a couple quads. I'm kind of debating, um, you know, this is, this is my favorite. I just got done flying this tonight. This is my, I still got to take my light bulb off. Uh, this is my favorite. It's three-incher, and right now it has an XM+. Plus. Uh, receiver in it so I think maybe I'll outfit it with an ELRS receiver and uh, give it a rip because I'm really familiar with this quad I know exactly how it's gonna act um, and I think if I the only thing I do is change out the receiver I'm gonna have some pretty solid you know verification of of what it's doing and how you know fast it reacts um, you know this is a freestyle quad so I'm probably gonna go a little less than 500 packet rate uh, maybe a 250 packet rate instead um, and then maybe outfit one of these uh, in my race quad at the 500 packet rate to get that really fast response we'll see uh, not to drag this video out too long but those are things that are coming and like I said you know in comments let me know let me grab some more stuff all right next up is uh, flight controllers um, that seven inch has given me all kinds of issues and it's prompted me to try out uh, other flight controllers because I thought the issue was in that and I'll explain that in, in a separate video um, but I actually have the Sky Stars um, the newer version F7 with the USB-C connector so both of them have be the connector so I don't know which one I don't I, in comments wh what do you want to see first um, so I got the Mamba F7 newest version I mean, it says DJI, but I mean, that's that's just simply they have a plug here for your convenience and it can handle it has a, a separate voltage buck on it so it can handle the voltage of the air unit. And, and both of them do that. Um, and they all they both have a designated connector. That's why it says DJI. But, you know, I'm I'm all analog. Uh, someday my hobby dollars may stretch enough to get me into some HD zero when that matures a little bit. So we'll see. I don't know. Uh, so th those are things also coming to the channel, and I also have this little little dude. Um, as you know, if you're following my channel, and if you're not, you know, uh, maybe think about subscribing to my channel. All these manufacturers are like, oh, you don't have enough subscribers. We we can't send you stuff to test. Uh, so maybe someday I'll have enough subscribers, and they'll send me stuff to test. Um, otherwise, <laughs> it's slow going because I gotta stretch some hobby dollars. Uh, so this is a diamond ELRS, uh, you know, happy model diamond ELRS board in here. So this thing, this thing weighs 18 point something grams. I can get a weight for it. Um, but I'm kind of messing with this and I'd like to do a video on it, uh, eventually. Um, but right now I'm kind of just, you know, is it really that good? Is it holding up? You know, I crash a lot. I, I'm really, really good at crashing. Um, and I'm, I'm doing... I'm, I'm doing some pretty good lap times, so I'm putting this thing through its paces. Unfortunately, that new radio is having some issues, so I'm still kind of having some jitter, stutter, and fail-safe issues, uh, RX loss kind of stuff. Not 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 as bad as the I had that X XJT FR Sky external module in the back of that thing. It was garbage. I sent it back immediately. Um, but anyway, uh, I'd like to have some information about this. Um, so we'll get we'll get more out on the uh, Diamond ELRS because as you know I have gone through a lot of Mobula sixes. Um, I think currently I only have 
I think I threw my hands. I've had nine of them, and I think I got two of them that actually work. Um, I also have a video I'll try to put here of putting um, an external VTX in the Mobulus 6. So the Crazy BFR. Let me just grab the quads out and look at it. So this is, <clears throat> this isn't the quad. This is a this is a really good flyer here. So this is still stock, uh, other than the antenna mod. So this is my last one that actually works. So out of nine, I've got two. Um, but this is the Crazy B F4FR light board, and I show how to disable. Damn, that ain't it either. Here it is. Uh, I'm not flying it right now because it's just kind of heavy and I'm kind of messing around with this other one and uh, my trusty flyer and then this one here I'm trying to work out some bugs um, but this one has the Reaper the Fox Air Reaper Nano and like I said I'll try to put a video up there for you um, of how to get that in there and how to disable the onboard VTX so it's pretty important you have to disable that remember it's a the crazy BFR uh, or F4 FR light board that has the built-in VTX. I'll show in the video how to disable that VTX and put your own uh, Fox Air Nano Reaper inside the canopy and everything. So pretty, pretty cool video. Uh, let me get this out of the way. Actually, if I could just take a little more of your time. Um, I just wanted to say that the, the Mobulus 6 frame, the original, I, I don't have, I don't, oh, I do. I got one left. So this frame, oops, not sure if that's a good or a bad motor. We'll, we'll see. Um, this frame is, is not as good as the Beta FPV Meteor 65 frame. The Meteor 65 frame, you can hit things and it doesn't, this one's like a rubber band. There's a lot of uh, energy. When you hit something, it bounces pretty far. I mean, you can end up quite a ways away from where you want to be. Uh, this one doesn't have that reaction. This one seems to bump into something and you kind of just glide out of it. Uh, really big difference between these two frames. And I totally recommend changing all of your Mobulus 6s to this uh, frame. Uh, not only that, the battery actually... Uh, is snug in the case without having to use rubber bands and stuff to to hold it on. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, the, this frame is pretty awesome. Uh, so, I don't want to take up too much of your time. All right, so I have. Let me see if I can put these in order. So we have the the V2. So if you're following along on the channel, these I've I've. I've spent a lot of time working on uh, kind of making a sub 250 legit 220 grams all up with a 4S LiPo doing 99.99 .99 miles an hour. Okay. Um, V2.2, I have a video on this one of uh, all that I've gone through. I've got like full build video on this stuff. Check out the channel on that if you will. I have a playlist on the Super Duper Mega Ultralight 138G 4S 5-incher. Um, and then I have a... Oops, let me let me put them in order. The V2.2, sorry. And then uh, I did a frame giveaway and a full TPU giveaway. I'd like to do some more of that uh, in the future as well. And then this one here is a 20x20 20 20, um, that I've been kind of tuning on and messing with and this thing is has really uh come to life um I, these have the hglrc all-in-one boards in them the 25 amp uh bl heli 32 ese um but this one has a this one also has a bl heli 32 ese but it's a 20 by 20 and i really believe that this one has a lot more grunt this thing will uh sp spool up much faster uh super fun to fly i actually like this one quite well um, but I'm kind of messing with these still, and I'd like to have some more content on the channel of how this project's coming along. So if you're following along, I'd like to continue feeding you information. Um, 
But I think that's it um, right now. I, I know there's a couple other things floating around here, but it's kind of late at night. And I just wanted to give you a, you know, coming to props off video without <laughs> without making this thing too long. Um, but yeah, those are the things, the projects that I'm working on. And uh, the amount of time that I have for the hobby at this point is pretty little. Uh, just a small amount of time. So getting getting this video out kind of give you an idea. And, you know, if you're not subscribed to the channel, uh, you know, please do um, hit the subscribe button. A lot of the manufacturers I've talked to like, hey, I'd love to test that and and, you know, see if it's actually worth a, a handful or not. And and, you know, they're kind of they really look at the 10,000 subscriber mark as the big deal. So uh, someday I hope you know, years to come, I'll, I'll get up to that point where I can, you know, actually start testing stuff. Um, unfortunately, there's a couple of them I've tested for and they didn't like what I said. Um, and I don't test for them anymore. So yeah, I've got a lot of stuff coming to the channel. I hope to get, you know, videos out. And of course, you know, I'm going to run into issues in the meantime, because I'm pretty active in the community and I'll try to get some other videos of, of fixes and stuff. So, you know, hey, if you like this video, you know, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, <laughs> yeah, give it a thumbs down. Enjoy the breeze.